Okie dokie. Yeah, I've set up Crowdleaf, uh, which I've got a card for there. Uh, the idea is essentially that it's a forum where people can share their kind of green and sustainability, both ideas, projects, campaigns. Um, if they need anything crowdfunded, they can put that up on there. Uh, so far, we're getting quite a lot of hits, quite a lot of kind of people getting active. Um, we've had two groups as well that have written on there explaining what they do. We'll be sharing their events in the future. Uh, and the idea is just to create kind of positive energy around renewables, around green, sustainability kind of issues. Um, and like I said, it seems to be going quite well so far, but it's just about getting the word out there. So what are some of the discussions that happen on Crowdleaf or some of the groups that are there? Uh, well, we've got Green Hampshire so far and Climate Conversations that have both written for us. One of them will be coming out later in the week and one come out a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they kind of just explain what they do, how you can get involved in the things they do. And hopefully that will lead to more kind of if you like cross-pollination of the, the activists, of the energy. So you're not redoubling up the same thing. Um, so it's, like a, it's a platform, is it, for, for people's views in relation to green... Yeah stuff how, how do people how do people find it uh if you google crowdleaf we're the top well most of the first page uh, including an article that i wrote for you um, a couple of weeks ago um we're also on twitter at crowdleaf and there's a facebook page that appears if you just search crowdleaf in the search bar okay and it's crowdleaf.com or dot co uk uh, .org.uk. .org.uk. okay so crowdleaf c-r-o-w-d-l-e-a-f dot org dot uk we'll put that on the screen underneath us so that uh, people know exactly oh it's even better look at that there it is and uh, at crowdleaf on twitter and individually he's at rws carter uh before we go to our second break 